What up, world? Welcome back. I am Dwayne Langham. This is the Av, YOLO Av, The Road Least Traveled. And you have just tuned in for another exciting conversation. In this video, we're continuing on with our Keys to Relationship Success series. This one I want to talk to you about. Accepting blame, asking forgiveness, bearing the cross so that your partner can heal. Yeah, we're going deep. So what do I mean by that? What exactly does it mean to accept blame, to ask forgiveness, to bear the cross so that your partner can heal? A close friend of mine gave me some relationship advice that helped him in some counseling sessions he had. And the concept is understanding that we often have disagreements. We often have misunderstandings, miscommunications. A lot of times we spend more time worrying about being right than worrying about being happy. What's really important? in the relationship. A relationship is a nurturing, symbiotic, mutual relationship. Now we've talked about the 100% zero. That's an aspect of giving 100% no matter what your partner's giving, not looking for a 50-50 relationship. This takes that concept and goes a little bit deeper. You see, whenever there is a disagreement, whenever there is more than just a miscommunication, you have to accept that sometimes your partner's gonna be hurting and they're gonna need you for healing. Now, how do you offer that healing up? Because it's not gonna look like, you know, necessarily them crying. It may come at you as frustration, as anger. You see, as humans, we have the tendency to take on and suppress memories and pains from our past. And in that suppression, our brain, as a self-defense mechanism, will have them manifest in the form of anger, in a form of frustration, in the form of not feeling loved. And what we get in the end result is merely an argument, merely someone scolding, yelling, lecturing us, disappointed in us. And that's hard to receive. But what you have to remember is hurting people hurt people. So I invite you to consider that the next time your partner, your spouse, or even your family member, remember relationships go beyond just your significant other. The next time that they're coming at you in anger, the next time that they're coming at you letting you know that they're upset about something, take this into consideration. Maybe they're hurt and looking for you for healing. Let me take you back. Imagine them as a child. Imagine them in their past and past relationships being hurt. And I mean relationships with mother, with father, not being good enough, not receiving the love that they need. So when that happens, they're hurt, damaged. So like I said, that gets suppressed. And how does it manifest? Years or decades later, as they're now in an adult relationship, when the dishes aren't done, when no one helps them with the kids, when things aren't clean, when they're not contributing to the finances. All these different things that really just dig the knife a little deeper on that old past hurt that they never got over, that they never addressed, that's just been suppressed and dormant there. And they don't even know why. And they're upset, they're frustrated, they're angry. Well, I invite you to consider that you can offer them healing in those moments. You see, instead of trying to be right, Instead of focusing on, you're not wrong, you didn't do it, you didn't mean it that way, that wasn't your intention, it's not even about you. You see, if you're in a relationship giving 100% zero, if being happy and successful in your relationship is important to you, you realize that it's got to be a win-win situation. You don't win unless they win. So how do you offer that healing? I'm going to take you through the steps. First and foremost, you accept blame. You are right, wrong. Whether it has anything to do with the situation, you take on that burden. And I don't mean I'm sorry you were hurt by what I said. I don't mean a half-assed apology. I mean a full-blown acceptance of guilt, whether you did it or not, right or wrong. You first start with, I'm sorry. I can tell that I've hurt you. I can tell that I've upset you. I can tell that I have frustrated you. Now this part, the next part is very important. Will you forgive me? It adds the cherry on top for me personally because it solidifies that you fully take on that guilt. Will you forgive me? Asking for that forgiveness, ultimate form of supplification, ultimate form of admission of guilt. You allow that person to heal. You allow them to feel right, feel better, feel whole and complete. Because remember, hurting people hurt people. So the reality is they're just feeling not loved. So in something so simple as an I'm sorry, something so simple. And yes, you are going to have to chalk it up to just being the better person that you're over and above them but in the sense that you see the bigger picture you see it's more important that they heal and stop hurting than you be right or wrong in doing that you then bear that burden you then bear that cross for them to heal now you get it so the next time you have a disagreement the next time you're having a high volume conversation with people in your life that you're in a relationship with take a moment to step back take a deep breath you may need to walk away and come back the point is 
Make sure that it's somewhere, sometime, you ask forgiveness. Make sure that you apologize. Make sure that you take on that guilt, a full-on admission of guilt, and ask forgiveness. And when you do that, slowly, piece by piece, you help them become more and more whole and complete. When you're going 100%, even if they're giving zero, they can't help but reciprocate. Hope you're enjoying the series for relationship success. As always, you know I love it when you like, share, and subscribe. Always keep in mind as you're living powerfully that today is the best day of your life. It's the only one you got. As always, I wish you the best and only success. Peace. A lot of times in life, while we're trying to find ourselves, you end up walking around with a cup half empty, looking for someone else to fill up the other half of that cup and make you whole. That's the first flaw of getting into relationships is realizing that you are whole and complete. Now, what does all that mean? Time to power up. You don't go through Super Mario, grab your mushrooms. Yep, yep, yep. Power, as far as a human being, in my eyes, is best defined as the velocity at which thought, intention, or possibility can be manifested into reality. Is there anything else you want to say? Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I think you're beautiful. <laughs> I think you're beautiful. Really? Yes. Are you sure? Yes.